Hi guys, in this session, I'm going to show you how to install DocuShare on Windows Server 2019 and use Oracle database as backend database. So this is Windows Server 2019. This one. And I have already downloaded the DocuShare 7.6 version. And I have already downloaded and copied into the C drive this Oracle 21C so first of all we need to install the jdk latest version this is the jdk latest version so double click it jdk is installed in next step we will make the java home environment variable so let's go to the installation directory java jdk this file or location properties sense setting advanced environment variable in the system variables new jv java underscore home and the variable value is this one location okay in next step we will install the web server role or feature add role in features rules and features next okay this is the docker share demo next uh, server role we need to install the features so next dotnet 3.5 features http activation and non http activation in 4.7 http activation and tcp activation next after that we need to install the web server role ios http redirection web dev yes after that http login request monitor in the performance section static content compression and dynamic content compression in the security section basic authentication windows authentication After that, server side includes IS management console and IS management compatibility. Next, install .NET 3.5, .NET 4.7 features and web server features are installed successfully. Let's close this one. And next step, we will install the Oracle database. So there is the set of files setup create and configure a single instance database okay next this is my windows server 2019 so i will select the server class for this demo i will continue with standard edition virtual account is fine the base is here see inside the the administrator account next uh, general purpose transaction processing that's fine next a global database name is urcl and system identifier esid is urcl so next character sets this should be selected al32 utf8 next and specify the file location this is fine next next you can specify the different password for a different system account but i will use same password for all three system accounts so next now it is checking the prerequisites everything is fine click on install database installation is finished successfully let's close this one and let's try to find out the sql developer because of we need to create one user for the docker share there is no sql developer let's download and install it so i have downloaded the sql developer 
run this one. Okay. Create connection manually. This is the name for the connection. Username sys and role is as sysgba. Password is and ESID is test and let's use the host name so docker share demo test now it is connected so connection status is success let's connect we need to create one user for the docker share so Create user C double has board admin identified by this password. Run. Okay, it is created. Grant all privileges. Docker user, which is C double S board admin. Yeah, grant succeeded. So I'm going to disconnect this one or delete and try to log in with newly created. Docker share user. Test it is success connect. Now it is successfully connected. So we need to create same user account in the Windows for the DocuShare service. Let's go there. User, new user, C double has, board admin, define your password. And password never expires. Rose user is created. Let's start to install DocuShare. Select your preferred language from here. I will continue with English. Next, I accept the terms of the license agreement. Next, this is the location or directory. I will continue with the first option. This is the Tomcat port, RMM port. If you want to use the different port than default, you can change here. I will continue with the default ports. Let's select your Docker access level administrator. Next. Select who can create new user accounts on your site. I will continue with administrator. Next. US English is fine. Create your admin password. and email address next and select your target database I will continue with Oracle next so database user which we created provide the password The database port is 1521, which is default port for the Oracle database. So table space name, board admin, table space, index space, so board admin, index space, our service identifier SID is ORCL and database host name is
talk of share demo and we have already created the user so we don't need to create from here we will create just the table species okay admin account is sys is sys dba provide your sys dba password table space file location okay we need to define the table space and index space file location so here administrator or data i am going to create here new folder docker share that's fine i will use this path for the docker share tables and indexes here board admin table space dot dbf the dot dbf is the database extension path is same board admin index space dot dbf and temporary file location also i will use the same for the docker share content class board admin temp dot dbf create a small initial database 100 mb fine next tomcat interacts with is and is port number is 80 fine in the host name we need to provide the fqdn which is fully qualified domain name it will ask the fully qualified domain name so i will use the same host 127.0.0.1 and server root is docker next install the docker windows service i will start later next if you want to select the secondary language french german italian portuguese or spanish you can select here but i will continue with the english only next this is gathering the information now it is testing the target database. Our DocuShare installation is finished successfully. We need to do some post configuration. So open command prompt. Run as administrator. I navigate to the DocuShare installation directory. Xerox DocuShare bin bin directory ds setup dot bat hit enter these are the parameters or configurations we have configured please check every configuration files or configuration here and hit enter if everything is fine then hit enter please confirm or change the following configuration if you want to change any configuration you can change from here but i am fine with my previous configuration so i will hit enter in all the services okay now start underscore docker share dot exe uh, console So server is running and DocuShare running. Okay, DocuShare is started successfully. Let's go to the browser and try to browse the site. Okay, before that we need to do some server manager. We need to specify the configuration in server manager. And local server, i.e. enhanced security configuration is on. I'm going to turn it off. Okay, now open the browser one more time. HTTP Docker share demo port is default port is 8080. 8080 server root is Docker share. Yeah, page is browsed. 
just try to log in and logged in successfully you can manage your license from here here if you have already posted the license you can apply the license here if if you want to grab the trial license you can go through here so it is configured and running in the last step east of negotiate service go to services look for the docushare service here double click it and startup type change to the automatic apply ok and reboot your system from the next time it will start automatic if you reboot the system thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe my channel if you have any questions regarding this topic or video please let me know in comment section thank you